Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, just as the church bells are ringing for 11 o'clock. I'm in the ancient village of Addington, just south of Croydon, not too far away from me. Again, like in the previous video, I didn't know this was an ancient parish. When I think of Addington, I think of New Addington, which is a modern uh, town from the 1800s onwards. And I didn't realise how ancient Addington is. It comes from a Saxon a lord called Edda, where the name originally came from. I've heard of obviously Addington Palace, um, but I've never seen that, They're just over there. We're not going there though. Um, it's lovely. We have a look around the church. I've got lunch booked at the Cricketers, in, which is the Harvester pub. Um, yeah, it's still absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. How did I, how can these things miss me? I don't know. Let's go and have a look around. The old forge, built around 1740. The last surviving working forge in the area. And there's one at Benchworth as well, isn't there? Amazing. This is Lion Lodge. And this was the original entrance to the old medieval manor before uh, Addington Place was built. Isn't that incredible. It was, I think, originally four entrances to the old medieval manor, four entrances. Obviously, this is, I think, 1700s. It's great, isn't it? So we're at St Mary's Church which is about a thousand years old, probably on the site of uh, an older uh, structure. I think it's going to rain. It did say it's going to have intermittent rain. I start it all. Down to the other part of the churchyard. The interesting thing about uh, Addington Palace, which I think now is a wedding venue, in the 19th century, many archbishops of Canterbury were lords of the manor, and apparently a lot of them are buried here in St Mary's. Why wouldn't they be buried at Canterbury Cathedral? I don't know these things. I'm not bright enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's quite interesting. Yeah, welcome to St Mary the Blessed Addington. Very nice. Opposite that house there used to be the old post office. Oh, and we have, yeah, and we've got Commonwealth War Games, uh, War Games, War Graves here as well. I mean, apart from the traffic, you really could think you're in a little village in Wiltshire somewhere, not just like three miles from Croydon. There's actually, I'm just walking down um, and I saw. <laughs> I saw some high-rise flats just in the distance, not too far away. So you can tell you're in, still in suburbia, but it's still a very nice area. Don't be wrong with that. St Mary's Church. There's a really good heritage walk you can do. You can download from the Croydon government web website for this place. And it says that, there, can we spot the doors in the churchyard that the bishops, uh, sorry, the uh, archbishops of Canterbury would have used to get to the church much quicker. And I've seen two, they're pretty, there's one over there, so that just comes straight down from the palace, one over there, and there's one in the other part of the graveyard. So which one it is, I don't know. I went and it's that one, because it's nearer. Who knows? So we're in St Mary's Church. Very dark, I'm sorry, especially on the GoPro. I've used the GoPro today in case it rains. But this is beautiful. Check this out. Oh yeah, they said that these are the Lye family. Um, and in 1576. Wow. 
Isn't that incredible? I love these, absolutely love these. This is the oldest continuous building being used uh, in the borough of Croydon. We think Croydon is a, is a modern town, it's not. It goes right back to the 12th century. I mean, modern Croydon looks like you know, New York. Um, yeah, this is ancient. I mean, look at these pillars. Look at these pillars, really old. The belfry contains six bells, six bells. I think the oldest one is the 13th century but they were restored in 1959, which I heard when I came into the village. Lovely. Oh yes, this is what I was looking for. This, under this stone is buried the body of Henry Kissingley, merchant of London uh, on the 7th, much of London, can't quite read that. Um, and we're going back to quite a few people, going back to the 1600s here, 1600s. No, it's dark, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So nice to have a church open. I went on the previous video, it was a very short one. I went to um, the church in West Wickham. Um, and it wasn't open, although it says it is normally. Uh, well, Benny Factor from 1646, this is great. Within this belfry lie the body of Thomas Purdy, whose uh, annual donation of 20 shillings a year, whatever towards the repairs of this steeple. This grateful remembrance of his death, which happened on the February the 19th, 1646. 1646, there's another one here. Henry Smith, citizen, an alderman of London, who died was buried at Wandsworth in the year 1627. Wow, an alderman. Well, thank you, St Mary's Church, and thank you for being open. This is so unique, this really is. But thank you. Thank you for letting me come in. I just now want to pop just down the road a bit, just by the A road, and, sh and uh, look into something I quite, find quite intriguing. Let's go. It's also nice to see a church open in sort of suburbia. I mean, you go into the little villages out in the countryside and sometimes they're still not open, but um, this one was, which was great. Yeah, this is Addington Park. Addington Palace is just over there. It's a very, very small hamlet, don't get me wrong, or village. I mean, New Addington's just literally over there, which is the modern housing, uh, well, a state, but it's a modern housing town in the 1800s. The last time I went to New Addington was probably about, or even went drive through, it was about 1986, I think, 1987. Um, and I've actually worked out, when I used to go to Biggin Hill, I was actually taking the longer route, the main road route. I could just cut through New Addington and got to, straight to uh, Bigging Hill and knocked off probably a quarter of an hour of the journey. Oh well. So, um, I've heard the tram stop. Yeah, I could have trammed it here actually, but hey. Um, when I was coming to do a bit of research here, I wanted to see if anyone else had come here, and I came across this chap, Phil Swallow, his um, YouTube channel, really good by the way. Does a lot of exploring around this area as well. Um, 
and he's been perplexed. He saw a video about these stones here. These stones look completely out of place next to the A road, which is, I'm sorry about the noise. But these stones, could it, and people were pondering, is it part of an old long barrow? I, I would say with pretty much categorically no. They're not sarsen. Most stone circles and burial mounds are made out of sarsen stone. These aren't sarsen stone. But what I'm going to do, as I'm, I'm quite versed in prehistoric sites, but also from a dowsing point of view, I'm going to do a little bit of dowsing quickly. I can't douse and video at the same time, I'm afraid, so I'm going to have to give you the results as I do it. So uh, let's find out. I don't think it is. So uh, according to my rods, by, by the way, I've been dowsing for about 25 years, so I've been a long time, actually longer than that, 27 years. Um, and I do douse for earth energy currents. But you can ask questions, see what answers you get. Uh, and according to this, which I still didn't think it was anyway, it's, it's saying it's not an ancient site at all. Um, and these are not obviously part of a burial mound. They would be sarsen stones, and these aren't sarsen. Sarsen's very brittly, you can actually scratch it off. There's been a lot of marks in them as well. I think it might just be some garden ornament that someone's done in them. It says it's actually been here quite recently, so that could be recently. It could be anything two, three hundred years. It could be 50 years ago, you know. So, no, it doesn't seem to be an ancient site, but it's intriguing all the same. OK, now we've solved that little mystery. We're going to go down to the Cricketers, the Harvester pub, for lunch. How's that sound? Actually, the gods are in my favour today. Last night it chucked down while I was at work. Um, and it said it's going to rain a little bit, but it hasn't. It hasn't rained. So thank you, weather gods. Well, I don't believe in gods, but, you know, good stuff. That was really nice. Had a sirloin steak with what I've called before a nourish bowl, chickpeas, uh, lettuce, really cucumbers, really healthy stuff, really nice, bloody tasty. Yeah, from the Cricketers, the Hofter in, um, in Addington. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's now pissing down with rain, so thank you for rain not raining when I was videoing. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I say, I need to look more locally maybe I didn't know this was here. I really didn't. So um, I've been educated. Hope you have been a bit. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care.